Texas have played two games, you know, in the last week. Saturday was against uh, Malawi. We doused their flame, but not so impressive, yeah. And then we went to play Liberia in a friendly game. And a lot of criticism have already come up about the team's performance. Because we scored two and we lost two. So what does it really say about the team? Should we field our best players for every tournament? That's a question I'm putting to you. So go on Facebook and send me your comments and I'll read them on the show. For now, let me introduce my guest. We'll see, see T-Blaze. T-Blaze, good morning and welcome to the show. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Uh, what have you been up to? Music. Music? Oh, okay, okay, all right. You tell me about why you are here later, but we'll talk about the football now. And next to T Blaze, the beautiful lady in the middle, right? They started this show. The Diva show was started by them. I remember Gifty Yosef Boache, Nanaba, Namwa, Freema, Ashka. Oh, where are all these girls? Efua Esiedu. We know her as Efua Esiedu, but now she is Efua Tiego. And she has a lovely. It's a boy or girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, it's a adorable. Yeah. Lights. Oh, if what cool. That's right. All right. So welcome to the show. Welcome That's to your true. own show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, I've got um, this man always, you know, I, I wish there was a, a dictionary to explain some of the words he used in your music. Because sometimes I don't understand it, but I know Ubu Bebebre, Obrafo, Ghana Rap Sofo. Mm-hmm. Good morning. And welcome Good morning. to the DUS show. Thank you. All right. Um, t Blaze, did you follow the Ghana game with the Malawi or yeah, like yeah, I which one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me your own impression of the game. Well, I think, obviously, um, the match was like, obviously, I don't know if it was, they underrated the team a bit uh, because Liberia, they're not a strong um, football nation. That's how I see it. That's my opinion, though. But I think in, in every match, we should take it serious. That's that's my opinion, though. Mm, guess, really? Yeah. But, I mean, someone would say it's a friendly. Mm-hmm. And besides, it was a presidential cup, and the Liberians ne- needed to win. I thought it would have been more embarrassing, you know, to go there and just, you know, come and kill their spirits. Yeah, I think they, they took their time a bit, but it doesn't matter if it's a presidential thing. Ghanaians, we love to win, so we should have just won it for mm-hmm. the people. You get me? If we're well, well, I think it was it was okay. I mean, it was, it was it's not a very crucial match. It was sort of like a friendly or presidential cup, so it's fine. I mean, we really don't need to field the very best all the time. We should give people, other people, the opportunity to shine. So, it's fine. I mean, the, the, the librarians are happy. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's how about the Malawi game? <coughs> Even though we won by two goals in it, the first half, I mean, it was, it was, it was drudgery. It was painful to watch the Black but Stars. But, you game. know, I mean, the Black Stars, we've always had a history of, of that. Sometimes we start poorly and somehow we pick up. Sometimes it's the other way around. But, all in all, we won that game. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the most that's important that we had, those three points. Gonna wrap well, what I can say is, for now, there are no minnows in football. Yeah. So every game should be treated seriously. Yeah. You win all your games, and that's what it is. Hmm. Mm. But moving on, I mean, we, we still have a return leg to play with uh, the with, Malawi. Well, with the first leg, I was not particularly happy with the way the, the boys mm-hmm. played. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they, they let their guard loose a little bit. But um, going back there, <laughs> um, one cannot stick his neck out yeah. and say it's going to be a cool job. Uh, definitely, it's going to be a difficult game. But uh, as not beyond the Black Stars, they can, they can at least edge a draw. I mean, <laughs> we are they, they, they should right lose. It should be a slim one zero. What what is needed is getting to the next stage of the qualification. Yeah. If would you agree that okay, well, it wasn't competitive. You have said we don't have to field our best players all the time. Uh, but then we are going into the second leg. And I remember their coach said emphatically that look, nobody has won in their uh, in their country. They haven't lost the game. Uh, I think this year and that if the Black Stars should come over, they're going to really pay for it. Do you think it's just a you know, threat? He's just calling the bluff. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he needs to. <laughs> he, needs to he, he needs to put some fear into us. I mean, so it's our duty, <coughs> excuse me, it's our duty to also, I mean, up our game. I mean, and we, we all know the Black Stars. We know what they can do. 
So, and we also know that sometimes they can be a bit of a of heartbreak sometimes, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the, the important thing is that they really up their game because it, it's really important to, I mean, the whole country, we are a football nation. It's important that, I mean, we really go on and then we, we, we boost our ego. And we really do blaze you, you know, in the first game, I remember uh, a lot of people praised Coach uh, Akusiapia for his uh, substitution. That it was bold of him to bring him in IU off and he made some very good decisions that eventually got us the two goals, right? Uh, going into the second game, now he's been criticised because they thought he had fielded a lot of the amateurs or minos. Um, going into the second game, what should he do to get it right so we get the maximum point? Not, not even go looking for a draw. Well, I think we should support him because he's really doing well. And secondly, as Samojan, that's my player. I don't know. <laughs> so I hope they field him. That's all. That's once all. once Samojan is in, he will give us the goal. All right. Blaze. Now let's talk about why you are here. Mm-hmm. There's back in the day concert. Okay, yeah. Ah, back in the day, back in the day. I mean, it just, I, my mind goes back to CC. I, I, I can remember that. Um, what, what? When is that? What, what's happening on, on back the in the day? On the 21st of next month. Um, oh, okay. Of this very month, yeah, this, this month, September, yeah. yeah. But basically, we're bringing 99 back to Ghana, yes. And all them, like, sorry, all them. Little kids that don't really know about the new, like the old, we started the whole thing, the originators. So we're bringing it back to the table to show them how we used to do it back in the day. And so basically, we see CEO, your secretary, filling me a deep. And when Obrafo steps on stage, you know what's going to happen. And, you know, you just bring in 99 back, just basically. Yeah. I, I, you're on? I'm on. Oh, you're on. <laughs> oh, okay, so which songs are you going to be playing? <laughs> you can't do back in the day without a bra- without oh, bra- bra- I know, I can't even... Yeah, mm. so which songs are we going to be hearing? I, it, I remember... It goes back my debut, Paimuka. Um, Paimuka, um, yeah. Lot of, loads of songs there. Uh, uh, Yanum, Kwame Nkrumah. Yanum, Yanum. Talk of, talk of all the hits. Mm. And I will come to us Sem Sebe. What about Ababumu Semdo? Ababumu Semdo. I think. Who won the record, yeah, Amani? Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. So, if, what do you make of the oh. back in the day concert? I mean, putting I all the it. artists. I love it. I love it. I mean, we really need to go back and then see some of these guys. I was surprised to see T Blaze because I mean Usisi oh yeah was really yeah. clever. You know you can do the dance and <laughs> I mean, it was really interesting. Then Azonto wasn't you know, you know, <laughs> you know so every every stage and it's people and it's, but it's important that we still remember these guys. I mean they are, they are pioneers. So it's really interesting. I hope that they put on a good show. I, I mean I I, I know they would put on a good show. All right. for T Blaze, yeah. Alright. You see the Diva show is just about expressing yourself and that's why every week we give you the opportunity to tell us what you make of the topics that we put out there and we went out just to get you know the a few of the 24 million coaches in Ghana of their own assessment of the game so it's a nice game played by the Ghanaian footballers they tried their best they did their best that's after the match game yeah the Malawi coach he said something at the conference saying that that is not the best performance he's seen from the Black Stars so I think he's trying to alert Chris Yapia who is now the head coach of the Ghana Black Stars that he's got more work to do even though he's still winning but there are so some still puddles to be fought up Ghana is a winning nation and a winning team so they're going to win as far as I think Adams the the goalkeeper um, the DIU I love that guy, their brother and other people, I think they will connect and they will coordinate so Ghana is going to be successful Looking at the chances Ghana, the Ghanaian um, the Black Star had, I thought it would have been more reasonable for them to convert most of the chances they had uh, our return leg, they should be tactically disciplined the strikers too, they should look more sharp For me, I think they did well but they could have done better than that yeah, especially there are some people who I would say disappointed me a little like Asamoajan and um, the day are you also I know they are good and they can do better than they did they are bragging that no one has ever scored them in their home but I think we are yet to break that record for them we should be more aggressive on them than we did here in Accra they should concentrate more on scoring goals what I saw from that game was that we had a chance we had all the chances to score all the goals, but we spoiled so many chances. Looking at the way the Malawis played here, they may cause havoc when we go there. So I think the, the coach should play a defensive 
kind of football where the Italian squad is Catanasio or something like that. He should play the way Di Matai played when he went to Barcelona. There, I think we can progress. Well, after the match, my son, I was at the stadium and uh, the coach uh, of the Malawian said, by all means, they, uh, they are going to be the Ghanaian back home uh, at the Ayat. And so what I'm expecting the coach to do now is to strengthen the defense. Even if we can't score them, he should just make sure he strengthens the defense. A 2-0 win is, is quite good, but we, lo- we missed a lot of chances. We have to like strengthen our defense and then we have, we have to just take our chances when we get to Malawi. You heard about 10 of our 24 million coaches. If we're, some of them talked about the fact that we spoiled a lot of chances, and that is something that has been going on forward many, many years. Okay. What do you make of that, too? I mean, every team has its dynamics, okay? Black Stars, we have our own challenges, so... And and that is one of our uh, one one of those challenges. I mean, we really need to work on those. I've, I've always said that we really need to score because football is about goals. Yeah. So if we can play all the fine football and we don't have the goals, then really, what's what's the point? We really need to convert. We need we need to work on that. Coach Coach Apia should just uh, hammer on that. But what what what's it that our strikers are not doing right? I mean, we've got them from the Samoans yeah. to the Ayus. What's what is wrong with us? Well, I, I I think it is with Ghana. We normally don't score many goals, uh, but football is like uh, if I said it's all about goals. You can play good football it, if you don't convert your chances, you know. So I think it's left with the coach to see to the finishing of the boys. I think they play. Is it well. about? Is it really about the coach or a player? Look, I'm a striker. Mm. I need to be disciplined. This is what on puts food on my table. Strategy, the coach map. You map the strategy in such a way the boys can put the balls in there. So we defend. If we are going to play defensive, we are not going to score goals. But if we play to score. The boys who, who go mm. ahead. And I mean, T Blades, yeah. someone like uh, Fernando Torres in the uh, Premier League, right? Mm. From Liverpool, Liverpool, he was doing fantastic. Mm. He comes to face, uh, what is it called? Chelsea. Mm. Yes, <laughs> lots of the Chelsea fans are already sending me messages on Facebook, so I said Facebook. Um, he comes to Chelsea and it was like a drought. This boy cannot score, couldn't score until, well, Chelsea's crawl through the Champions League mm-hmm. and I know they'll be sending messages very soon mm-hmm. and then he, he's picking up all right what happens because this is what puts food on your table that mm-hmm. if you don't score you'll be benched with well, the Tory situation it was to do with Drogba you know like <laughs> well, I'll be no, supporting but, no, Chelsea because you know for well over 24 something million pounds million. and you come to a, a team like that you know when you get paid like that there's a lot of eyes on you all eyes were on Torres, yeah, and the pressure was a lot. But the um, best players perform when they're under pressure. That's when they, sh- they they do the magic. But you have Drogba. Drogba is very... I don't think you... Because so now, I've lived in England for some time. I know when you go on, that Drogba has got that, I don't know, that presence. Like, when you're playing with, a, uh, with such a player, you go... I don't know, it's just... Uh, you know when Drogba left, he started picking up. That's how I see it. That's my opinion. No, I'm, I'm just trying to bring that to what mm-hmm. our players, our strikers mm-hmm. are doing in Ghana. Right? With Asamoah Gyan, because he's got uh, a lot of name... Like every, there's a lot of eyes on him now. Back in the day, they were not really watching him. But these days, you go to any African country, everyone keeps watching us more, because they know any little thing he can score. All right, That's please. Uh, the date again for the 21st, back in the day concert. Twenty first of this month. Twenty first no, September. Uh, and a holiday. Yes, a holiday. Like yeah. Commerce. All right. So on, this is on, the Diva. Sh- yeah. All right. This is the Diva Show live on TV3, and it's proudly, proudly sponsored by MTN. And this is the part I like the most. Ida B. We back. <laughs>